How's it going, YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TV TV in the studio with the heavyweight title match for you today. We've got the Volcano Classic versus the Volcano Hybrid. The Classic was released in 1999 and the Hybrid just this year. It features Bluetooth integration, a new whip system, and a hefty price tag. We're gonna dive in and see if the Hybrid is worth the extra bucks. But first, if at any point you like this video, throw us a thumbs up, would you? If you really like it, hit subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest. Without further ado, let's get into it. The Volcano Classic set the standard for the better part of a decade in terms of vapor quality. With almost purely convection heating, the flavor is top notch with great extraction and a high density. However, the new and improved dynamic heating on the Volcano Hybrid really sets the new standard. Extraction is even more complete, vapor density is better, and with fine tuning, the flavor is much better. I would say it's closer to the Mighty flavor versus the old Volcanoes, which have that kind of burnt popcorn-y taste. To add to that, you have the versatility of the whip versus balloon system that the Volcano Classic just doesn't have. By no means is the Classic a slouch, even by today's standards. However, the hybrid just brings something new to the table. We can see why Stores and Bickle favors the hybrid heating system, and the Volcano Hybrid definitely takes the point in the vapor quality aspect. Again, we're comparing the top end here, so you can't really go wrong, but the slight edge goes to the Volcano Hybrid. The Volcano Classic has a well-earned reputation for being built incredibly well. A lot of people still have their same unit for over 10 years, which is impressive to say the least. Of course, Stores and Bickle are known for making top quality devices, and the manufacturing quality can't really get any better. The Volcano Hybrid has some pretty big shoes to fill, and with the addition of all the technology inside of it, there's more that can go wrong. The Hybrid features an LED display, reminiscent of the Mighty's LED display which is a nice touch to keep the brand unified. The hybrid also has Bluetooth functionality, which is a feature that will excite some and probably be ignored by many. I encourage you to explore the Bluetooth functionality. Stores and Bickle have put a lot of time into the app, allowing you to customize little things like screen brightness and auto shut off time. It also unlocks more major features, like the inclusion of what Stores and Bickle are calling workflows and iterations, which allows you to fine tune how your hybrid can operate. Want to set it to a specific temperature, run the fan for five seconds, and then increase the temperature again without actually touching the volcano? You can do that now. In terms of the chamber size and footprint, it remains the same, and it's not very portable, but it's great for a group session. The chamber for the hybrid has been slightly redesigned, now locking onto the top of the device to accommodate the whip and minimize any accidents when mindlessly pulling on the tube or passing it back and forth. The size of the actual piece is larger, though the chamber size remains the same. One of the reasons for this design change was to keep your hands farther away from the chamber when handling it, because current Volcano users will know that the chamber gets very, very hot while in use. And the hybrid addresses this issue with the outer ring and locking system. I also feel like the heating chamber on the hybrid creates a better seal with the heater itself as you're locking it into place. And on the old Volcano, you can just pull it off, which doesn't feel the most secure. Overall, we like the changes to the Volcano hybrid as it seems like every single one of them has a specific purpose. This one goes to the hybrid. Both units are quite simple to use, designed for beginners and veterans alike. They both function in a similar way and both yield great results. If you wanna play around with the Volcano app, the learning curve might get a bit steeper, but you can have a great experience with or without it. Cleaning is very similar on both units, so it's hard to pick a winner in this aspect. Stores and Bickle undoubtedly makes incredibly easy to use products. Of course, there are more settings and features to fiddle with on the Volcano Hybrid. However, there is a mild learning curve associated with it all, but nothing you can't handle. We're gonna call this one a tie. Both devices have complete temperature control between 40 and 230 degrees Celsius, which is 104 to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the full and accurate control of the Volcano Hybrid can be matched by the relatively inaccurate guesstimation of the temperature dial. Of course, for all our analog fans out there, there is certainly something to be said about turning a dial and not messing around with 
New Age technology. The Volcano Hybrid also has much quicker heating as it takes less than 45 seconds to heat up, while the Volcano Classic only really starts to shine after about three to five minutes to properly warm up. To add to that, the in-depth settings found in the Volcano Hybrids app really allow you to customize a wide array of options, which can yield you awesome results. There's a lot to explore in the app, and if you're a fan of tech, it certainly won't disappoint. Point for the Volcano Hybrid here. No surprises here, the Hybrid wins this battle. The Classic, as with all stores and Bickle units, is top of the class. But 20 years have gone by and technology has prodded the Volcano in the right direction. It is a clear improvement in almost every category. The heat up time is much better. The temperature control is far more versatile. Not to mention the Bluetooth app and the whip attachment. Of course, as with all stores and Bickle products, it really comes down to whether you're willing to shell out the big bucks. If you are, you will not be disappointed. And that's it for today's showdown. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please tap that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe, to stay up to date on all of our latest. If you think I missed anything, if you'd have a different comparison video you'd like to see, if you just, really? If you just don't like the way my face looks, throw it down in the comments below. I will read it and cry tears of joy because I love constructive criticism. Until next time, my name's Alex for T-Vape TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.